Good day folks, today in this video we're going to do a test to see which is the quickest and most efficient way to get media from your GoPro or your drone to your iPad. In this test I'm going to be using the new 2018 iPad Pro and I'll be timing it over on this iPad. So we're going to be testing three different methods, plugging the device in directly via USB-C cable, we're also going to be testing out the USB-C card reader, and the GoPro Quick Key, this is the USB-C edition. So let's get started. So I'm going to be using Mavic 2 Pro footage uh, for this test. So let's uh, open up the drone. We're going to try with a direct plug-in first, and uh, we'll see how long it takes. So we've got one end of the USB-C port plugged into the drone at the side there. Now we'll plug the other end into the iPad. And it's important to make sure the drone's powered off before you plug the two in together with the cable. Um, if you do it while the drone's plugged in, it's not going to trigger the media transfer. All it's going to do is actually just charge your iPad. So make sure you plug the cable in first, and then we'll power on the drone. We'll just have to wait a minute for the drone to initialize, and you'll see here in a minute, it'll trigger the file transfer. And there we go. So I'm going to use this file here for all the tests. We'll just select it, because that's the one we're going to import in. You can see it's 2.35 gigabytes. So we're going to start the import and start the timer at the same time, and we'll see how long it takes. So we'll just let that do its thing. I'll go ahead and fast forward the footage. I might even just cut to the end, but uh, we'll just see how long it takes. So I'll have to look back at the footage to get the exact time, but uh, it was approximately about a minute and 25 seconds. I'll put the actual time up on the screen there. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that so we can retransfer it. So that was the test using the cable. So let's go ahead and we're going to take the memory card out now. Sometimes it's not always the easiest task. So for the next test, we're going to use the Apple USB-C card reader. Of course, we will have to use an adapter. Put the memory card in it. So we'll start the timer and the import at the same time and we'll see how long it takes. You can see the little thing turning there. That means that it's importing. You'll turn to a green check mark and give a notification when it's done. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward this. So again, I didn't quite catch it in time there, but I think it was about 43 seconds. So that's quite a speed improvement. I'll put the exact time up on the screen. So now lastly, we're going to use the GoPro Quick Key. Uh, this is the USB-C version, and uh, it can be used for multiple devices. You can use memory cards from drones, GoPros, anything that takes those little micro SD cards. So we're just going to insert it. And again, it should pop up right away. There it is there. So we'll select the file import and uh, we'll start the two at the same time again now we'll just see how long that takes so wow you can see that the gopro quick key is even faster than the apple card reader so yeah that's quite interesting so as you can see folks uh, they all work well now they all kind of have some pros and cons to them and I'll kind of go over that here with you. Uh, first of all, the cable was the slowest, but the nice thing with it is that it's free. The cable comes with the iPad Pro 2018, so you don't have to spend any extra money on these adapters. The downside is it's the slowest method, and you have to power on the drone for it to work, so that's not always a convenient thing. And someone like myself, I do 100% of my video editing for my YouTube channel, my GoPro, my drone videos, and some clients. I am transferring files every day, uh, very large files. Like what we transferred today was a three minute file, three and a half gigabytes. Uh, some of the files that I transfer are 20 minutes, 30 minutes in length. And, uh, you know, they can take a long time. So a quick, efficient way for somebody like myself is very important. Now, when it comes to these two dongles, and maybe you're thinking about getting one, which one do you get? They both work well, but as you can see in the video, the GoPro Quick Key worked the quickest, and it's a little bit cheaper. The only added benefit to getting the Apple one is that you can use a full-size SD card in there as well. Whereas with the GoPro Quick Key, you can only put micro SD cards in it. So those are the results. I'm not saying one way is better than the other. I guess it all boils down to what uh, works best for you 
what is most convenient. Again, like I said, it's nice that uh, the cable is already included and it's free. You don't have to spend any extra money and it does work well. So yeah, folks, that's it for my video. Hopefully you found this video informative. Maybe you were wondering on different uh, transfer methods and what is the quickest way to do it. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you.